recording now. So, this is Airport Mesa. 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 And it's a the second vortex we're climbing on on our trip here to Sedona. And this is right outside of the Sedona proper. And what we find different here is that the ground is not red. The ground is more lava rocks. And we're also finding that there's this enormous amount, there's the lava rocks, this enormous amount of cacti life. And there's also this beautiful fragrance that follows you on the trail of lemon balm. And also we found that Shep was in ecstasy, elation. elation on this journey. And I had my heart chakra awakened. And it still is as we continue on our Hello. journey. Hello. And you can see the view is extraordinary. And I'm going to get up for some other hikers. So Mesa is flat. It's one of the easiest hikes in Sedona of the four vortex. I had no voices speaking to me like I did back on Bell Rock. You can still see Bell Rock from here as I move back down the trail. There's Bell Rock in the distance. There it is. So as we've been taking this journey, this is before our pink jeep tour tonight. I'm reminded of each time I step on the sacred land to open my heart and I feel the opening abundantly here at Airport Mesa. On my grounds, on my trail, on my awakening in airport, in Red Rock, I heard the voice, I am home, Father. When I wrapped the Dalai Lama's prayer shawl around me, I knew I had died many deaths there, many lives. And I asked for Shep to have an open mind to hear the voices that were speaking to him. So this is my pilgrimage through the vortex.